morning, and welcome back to another episode of Chow, Chow Crunch. Crunch. Today we have a special episode of Chow Crunch for you. We got out nice and early to go to the Nemesis Cafe. It's award-winning, and they're famous for their croissants, cruffins, cookies, and coffee. So let's see if they live up to the hype. So let's go line up. Let's go. Right. And we're back. We got ourselves some cookies, some cruffins, some croissants. Some coffee. Let's see if it tastes good. Look at this. Look at this cookie. It's huge. It's the size of Pat's head. Look at that. Holy moly. Yeah, if you look at the cookie, there's sea salt, chocolate. So this is a chocolate cashew chocolate chip cookie. That's not much salt on there. Yeah, the salt is nice. It adds some nice contrast. Let's let's get into it and see if it's the cookie's good. Yeah. Ciao. Mm. I like how crispy it still is. You know, it's yeah. like it's still chewy in the middle, but it's crispy on the outside. I love those kind of cookies. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Perfect. Like it's sweet enough with the chocolate, but not like not too sweet. Now I got a bite of the salt right here. You didn't get the cashew yet? Oh yeah. I don't think I found cashew yet. Mm. Mm. Just the crispy edge, it just really makes this cookie. Definitely really crispy, I like that aspect, but still so yeah. moist in the center. Mike, what do you think? All right, I'm excited for this because I've had this before and it's really good. Yeah? Yeah, um, so let's try it out. It's good. I like the cashews in it, add some nice texture to it. Salt, nice contrast with the chocolate. I think that's what makes this, that flaky finishing sea salt on it. You guys were saying the edges are crispy, but yeah. yet the inside is kind of like moist. It's almost like a brownie, like the edges are nice and crispy, but the inside is fudgy and soft. You can really tell they use really premium chocolate on this. You know, it's not like your, uh, your nibs. The yeah, 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 run of the mill nibs. These are like chunks of chocolates. And that's why it gets all like, you get like little pockets of it. Like yeah. look, look at Pat, like, Look at those chunks of chocolate. Like you don't get that from like chocolate chips. Like look at even the bag. That's crazy. Yeah, it's just like uneven, just like chunks of chocolate. Mm hmm So it's really good. This is probably like one of my favorite cookies here. So we got a cruffin here. What's a cruffin? Cruffin is a croissant muffin. I've never heard of that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so check it out. Oh yeah, that looks amazing. That's a lot of sugar on there. Yeah. Woo! Look at that. It's basically, oh, look at that rain. Ooh. Make it rain, yo. It really is just like a croissant that's just like in a muffin yeah. mold, I guess. Muffin. Yeah, um, basically, yeah. And they just pan. wrap it around. I think the inside's filled, right? Yeah, yeah sometimes gonna... it might be filled. I'm not sure about this one. All right. So, we're actually looking forward to it. Oh, God. <laughs> this is messy. <laughs> Definitely, uh, you want to dine uh take this to uh for here not to go um this is messy <laughs> it's not handheld yeah it's not handheld friendly it's, it's, it's oozing oozing raspberry juice so this is the raspberry elderflower cruffin yeah. they have a selection of different kind of cruffins if you want yeah. uh, there was also blood orange i think this is uh pat's type of pastry with a fork and knife <laughs> yeah all right uh, i think i'm just gonna rip this bit right uh, good luck ciao, ciao. This is really good. The raspberry with the custard is really nice. It's got a really intense raspberry. Like there's a no like Smucker's kind of type of jam. Okay, yeah. And, and I like how there's no seeds in it. Because with anything raspberry flavored. Like, I hate raspberry seeds. Yeah, so this has no seeds at all. Yeah. Oh, it's like really nice and smooth. So they took the time to like filter out the, the, the sauce. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I think that's really good. I mean, uh, on first bite, it's like a really smooth custardy and just light on the on the raspberry as well so it's really great um doesn't seem like it's very friendly to eat with your hands i think it's a lot better if you just like yeah, yeah. you know had a proper sit down to it but yeah exactly despite how it looks it tastes great yeah the, the croissant is really flaky and i like how they put like a sugar like um coating on the side to add some extra crisp to it Deb, what do you think all right, okay. good luck. I'm looking forward to this. It's definitely um, sit down. You gotta eat this. Oh, look at that! It's still like so juicy, so much f flavors inside. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, don't rip it up too much. What do really you think? Raspberry. Yeah. Right? Yeah, super smooth. 
Love the crunchiness on the outside of the croissants. It's really good. Definitely really messy to eat if you're like tearing it apart. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> so. Yeah, the custard is nice on it, right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's a nice balance between the two because it adds like this creaminess to like the tartness of the raspberry. Yeah. And yeah, it's it's really good. It's really nice. It's not like too like raspberry. It's like it, it feels like fresh raspberry, not like some like shelf stable stuff they're using. So that it's like actually feels like quality made. So this cruff is not actually not um, that cheap either. It's like six dollar. Ooh. So it's I think it's it, it, it's pushing Sheesh. it. It's pushing it six by like bucks. Yeah, <laughs> definitely a lot of art, a lot of work into this. This isn't that Costco kind of uh, croissant. Okay. No. Uh-huh. This is quality butter. Time and effort went into this. It's not easy making uh, croissants. You get what you pay for. Yeah, you get what you pay for. Thank <laughs> you, Cat. <laughs> All right, let's clean up and uh, we'll go to our last one, basic croissant. All right, we're cleaned up and let's try the last one, the most famous, their croissants. And if you like a croissant, you know what to look for. It's got to be crispy, got to flaky, you got to see those air pockets. Yeah, let's that see. cross section in the middle. We got the croissant here. Wow. Ooh. So if you like croissants, you know what to look for. You see it's crispy, all those air pockets, layers. A buttery goodness. Yeah, look at those air pocket layers. Yeah. Brown's not super burnt at all. Nice and golden brown. This thing is <laughs> definitely you see there's a lot of work, workmanship that went into this. Let's get right into it. Let's see if it's worth it. Ciao. Ciao. Ding ding. Alright. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's like the best part. Look at all the layers on that. Oh sheesh. Wow. Super flaky. Really crispy. And damn, it tastes buttery. What? How about say you have the What con- say you? This is our, nods. Uh, oh, like the nod of approval. You see that? Mm-hmm. Super flaky, super buttery. Mm-hmm. Like there, you see the layers. It's kind of crushed right now, but they definitely, <laughs> you know, someone put a lot of time and effort to make this croissant. Yeah, exactly. It's not easy. Mm-hmm. It takes a lot of time. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt. So yeah. I would pay. How much is it? It's like four fifty-five or something. Yeah, this is like four fifty. So definitely, it's on the pricier side. But if yeah. you have a weekend and you want to treat yourself, treat go, yourself. Go to Nemesis. <laughs> like their stuff is not cheap, but I think it's mm. worth it if you like want a good cafe experience. So. Yeah, yeah. Even the inside was really beautiful. Like the architecture of that, amazing. Which I'm sure you guys saw. But what say you, Pat? All right. So for me, croissants. I really love the end. So that's like kind of like how. I uh, determined if a croissant's like really good. So, ciao. Ciao. Mmm. It's perfect. I'm, if anything, could use a little bit more butter, but look at all those layers. It's insane. Like, it's just perfectly crispy. Like, I don't know what else you can say about this. It's a he's, perfect croissant. Yeah, he's speechless. That's how good it is. Speechless. Usually, this guy has a lot to say, great descriptive words, but it's just mm. so beautiful. He just wants to experience it. It's, so let's just take a moment. This is art right here. All right, we're back. And let's go to ratings on three, two, one, two. That's pretty high. Yeah, so definitely, I think it's worth your time. It's one of my favorite coffee shops, favorite croissant place in the city. So definitely, I wouldn't say you go to this coffee shop all the time. If you want to treat yourself on a good weekend, definitely go. Wait in line, grab the croissant. Cruffins, whatever you like. So it's worth it. Two, because it's really good, but it's not that good. It's a little pricey, as we were saying earlier, and I think I could find a croissant that's just as good somewhere else. I was really close on a three. Uh, I was pretty close on a three, too. Uh, I just found it wasn't like perfect, perfect. I felt like it was just like, mm, it's a step up from a regular coffee shop, but with a long, long lineup. Kind of deters me from wanting to go again. But like Kevin said, when you want to treat yourself to like some nice coffee and pastries, this is a nice place to go. All right, on that note, let us know if you guys like any pastries or what's your favorite pastry. Let us know. And ciao! Ciao!